Hello to all y'all out there in the blue collar nation. Well, I had another problem and I had to come up for a solution. Uh, every time I mowed, I was having to move my uh, UDS, my ugly drum smoker, and my Weber little grill. Uh, and sometimes I'd have my smoker turned upside down. So what was the solution? I had to build me a UDS smoker cart grill barbecue cart slash combo. Um, I just come up with this in my head real quick, run down to the lumber yard, grab what I thought I needed, and came home and started building. Well, I uh, I think this took eight two by fours. I just got the cheap ones. I was, you know, dollar sixty seven. Uh, I think I had six uh, six foot treated pine pickets. They was about dollar sixty seven each. Got twelve tile. I was worried about the heat from the uh, smoker um, on the on the wood, and so it's usually not an issue, but. In this case, I just use tile. Now here I'm cutting the, uh, it, it's about, the, the card is about 49 and a half inches long. I should have went a little longer. And Lowe said that these fence pickets were five and a half inches wide. They're, they're considered six, but they're really five and a half. Well, they're actually a little longer than that. They're about five and nine sixteenths or something. So I figured on five and a half, 49 and a half inches. And that was a little short for for even uh, width. So, but anyway, I'm not worried about about you know fine woodworking here. I just want a cart that I can move my smoker and grill around every time I have to mow without picking up all kinds of pieces. So anyway, this is a little trick for y'all. If you got several pieces of lumber the same dimension that you need the same mark on, lay them on top of each other. When you cut through the top one, it'll leave the exact mark where you need. Well, that works great, but there is one little problem. And uh, I made a boo-boo. So you'll see here in a minute when I realize what I did. I don't know if y'all picked it up or not. But uh, anyway, th th this is just your normal cheapest stud that you can get I, uh, I made this whole cart for less than a hundred bucks i could have used cedar and i did consider cedar but it would have added probably twice as much to the um to the cost um so and i just unbelievable sitting here got something crawling behind my ear i've been outside and it's a tick so anyway <laughs> tmi i know so um i'm measuring here this is going to be about 49 and a half inches long by two foot wide. And I'm going to use, um, like I said, the treated pine fence pickets for the uh, slats. And um, now I could, like I said, I could have used cedar. That would have worked. Uh, you could use really anything you wanted. I could use treated wood. But right here is my mistake. Do you see it? When I made that first cut down there, I didn't make sure my boards were even with each other. So anyway, I'm realizing right here I made a boo-boo and I got to figure out which one I need to um, throw over in the scrap pile and measure my new one. So here, uh, these inside boards are 21 inches. Uh, the long ones are 49 and a half. Should have went out to 50, but hey, no skin off my nose. Like I said, this thing isn't, I, I didn't build this with hopes of getting in fine woodwork. So, uh, now if you, you've seen my opening picture, I didn't, haven't, uh, got around to, um, staining or, or sealing it. These are 21s. Mostly did this so it would remind me of what the dimensions were. But um, anyway, I'm going to let it sit. We're getting rain almost every day. We got rain last night. I was almost done. It was getting dark. And I just locked. I didn't have the wheels yet. So this morning I ran down, got the wheels from Walmart, got some half-inch bolts from the hardware store and put the wheels on this morning. Well, last night it rained. And this wood is already swelled. So once I get a few days um, where it's nice and dry and stuff, I'm going to get some I don't know, poly or whatever and 
and stain it or you know like i said just something keep it from oxidizing getting that old yucky looking gray stuff so you know now that i got that one tick off me i feel ticks all over me you, you ever have that happen so anyway um basically starting out you're just going to build your box here and i'm just using regular old deck screws these are two and a half i also have threes and then to secure the um, slats down to the wood, um, I didn't have no inch and five eighths deck screws, so I just used some inch and a half uh, galvanized screws, and that's really all you need. Um, then once I get these in, I'm going to check the square on this, make sure I'm still square. I was just a tad off, uh, and I um, I'm putting one screw in inch corner until I see if I'm square and I was tied off so I had to make an adjustment and then I put the final screws in and she was all all nice and square uh -uh. so speaking of boo-boos I actually make uh, another one on through the video here and I'll see if y'all catch it as well I know some of y'all will uh, but here I'm checking square it's pretty good so now the slats like I said they're about two foot long I can get three slats out of one six foot fence picket and um, I'm not going to measure them uh, there's only nine on this this bottom part so I'm just going to mark them so that um, they all come out to the edge now you will end up with that dog ear uh, as one of your your pickets and um, that's okay because this bottom I covered, like I said, covered with tile. I was slightly worried about the heat from the smoker when I have it going, but since there is a fire basket in that smoker, I, I'm I'm not that worried. But you know, nevertheless, I thought, hey, grab uh, I think 12 pieces of tile for this, 12 by 12 tile, and um, I will use uh, Loctite adhesive to. Um, glue the tile down to the uh, slats there and just keep on going till you get it all done once you got that done come back now I'm measuring for the leg I, I, I won't as low as I can get but still yet be able to pull it and I was looking at three inches and that wasn't really going to I was worried it wouldn't be tall enough. Now, <clears throat> let me say th this is a little boo-boo here. Not necessarily boo-boo. This is what happens when you work off the cuff. I, I don't work from plans usually. Um, this was all in my head. I uh, kind of sketched it out roughly. These front legs should be about two inches longer than the back ones. But I believe these are 32-inch legs. Um, from from the bottom of the leg to the top um, I left four inches hanging down I ended up with four inches hanging down because I was just afraid two or three inches wasn't going to be enough as it turned out I probably could have got by with three because um, I, I don't want it so high that when you go to get in your smoker it's too high or when you use the grill it, it you know you grills you know head high I don't didn't want that so here I'm marking again. I'm going to check. Um, actually, I'm cut here. I've done marked it. And uh, like I said, my legs, I believe, are four inches below the uh, bottom there. And that will, they should have been six inches. And then the bottom ones have been uh, 32 all together. So uh, I've got her screwed in here. Here I'm using three inch deck screws so I can go th as you know all the way into that other uh, two before because you know this I have the weight on it three or four screws all you need here on the side yeah the four inches hanging down there and then I go ahead and cut the rest of them like I said, this is version 1.0. There it is with the legs all cut. 
and I'm making sure I wanted two feet above the bottom platform and that's what I had there now I'm measuring for the middle support uh, and that's two feet from the back I wanted as much room at the front as I could for the smoker smokers just a hair under two feet wide 23 and three quarters or something like that and that's where I run into a problem later on and y'all see that too so anyway I'm measuring where this center is going to go and this will form my tabletop uh, counter space Use two before with. I could have measured it, but pff, I have a two before handy. And where am I? Oh, I think that's 28 inches. Yeah, that's 28 inches. We're screwed in good here. Oh, this one only takes two or three, you know. These are three inch screws as well. I use two and a half on some of them. Others, I use these three, the ones. You know, I'm going to pick, pick it up on. Use your speed square. Make sure you get these things square and everything. This one I got a little bit off. I think the uh, the deck boards there were were warped or something. It threw me just a little off. You'll see later when I'm putting the tile on the counter that I'm uh, just a hair off. And that, there again, that's fine. This is in fine woodworking magazine. So uh, there, they're all all in place. Um, now they're ready for the runners. And uh, I measured these a foot longer for handles. As you can see here, I wanted a foot out. Those were five foot long. Now, I uh, kind of wish I'd went five and a half feet now that I've moved it around. Um, I'm a big old boy, and, and sometimes it, if I get going too fast, it'll hit the back of my feet. But um, five foot will work. Five and a half would be better. Give you a little bit more play. But you may not have that much room. Now here I'm checking to make sure that these are half inch thick boards. Um, and I'm going to measure a half inch down because I preferably want that when I put my top shelf on there or my top work table, I want those boards flush with the uh, two by fours. And, and that fairly well worked out. Um, what I didn't take into consideration was the thickness of the tile. And that's fine. Like I said, this is the first time I built this. Um, this is version 1.0. And they always tell you when you buy something, never buy the version 1.0 of anything. <laughs> so uh, if I do it over again, I would uh, take, you know, I'd know to take into, you know, thickness of the, the board and the tile and a little bit of um, adhesive. So. But nevertheless, it's still going to work good. It, uh, I'm pleased with how it turned out. This took me total time, uh, gosh, maybe three and a half, four hours. In between when I started and when I finished, if you notice the sun and everything, I, um, I got sidetracked. I was trying to find some finish nails in my pickup, and I couldn't, so I got a little irritated, so I just cleaned my pickup out. Never did find finish nails. Apparently, there's someplace else that may be at client's house or something. So, uh, anyway, uh, that's why if you'll notice the shadows, it's went shadows of one one side when I started, and during the middle of the day, now it's in the afternoon. So, here again, I'm only securing these with about uh, two to three um, screws per vertical post there. Oops. Should have had that clamp. Should have had a lot of these clamps, but you know, there again, I didn't want to dig out my clamps and in fact, I was thinking afterwards, I probably could have used all three inch and just forgot about the two and a half inch. Um, but that's okay. I needed the two and a half inches anyway. So here's where I realized I'd made a mistake because the only inside dimensions of were wouldn't have been wide enough for my smoker to fit. So I have to cut from the middle to the front out. 
or my smoker is not going to fit on there. And um, that's fine. Uh, there again, uh, I wasted uh, two tube or one tube before there. Well, two tube before that. I'll be able to use them someplace else. But I had to use another two cut to five foot and bring that whole thing on the outside. That rail that you'll use for handles on the outside. So my smoker would fit. Um, and it's all right. You learn. Um, I'm fixing to cut this one off here. And I should have secured that one with a uh, screw before I cut. But I didn't. And that's okay. I got, got a little um, um, pinch there of the looseness. But hey, it wasn't nothing for that Bosch saw. I love that Bosch for the circular saw. Man, that has been my right arm. I never thought I would use it as much as I do when I first got it. So, okay, I went ahead. And these are two foot wide planks too. Got them cut, nailing them down. Like I said, inch and a half uh, galvanized screws. And i um, going to get these nailed down here. And then I'll be uh, gluing the tall down. And um, yes, I just use regular Loctite adhesive. Uh, uh, that stuff is some of the well, it is the best adhesive I've ever used. I've used PL and, and liquid nails and all that other stuff. And this stuff here is, is good stuff. So you, you, if you'll notice on that far middle one, it's just a little lippage there with that one sticking out. But there again, that's okay. Here's a power grab, Loctite power grab, ultimate. Zero, when it says zero second gra grab time, it's pretty, pretty accurate. Uh, this is the stuff I use when I, I'm installing um, shower tub surrounds with the panels to the wall and you just you use this stuff to glue and just, once you get it on there and you stick that panel on the wall it's there you don't have to worry about it falling off or anything else and I've used this a lot now that's seven or eight dollars a tube but it is it's my favorite adhesive so um, this is what I'm going to use I could have used mastic or you know something to you know regular grout mastic or to lay this down but i didn't have it and i wasn't gonna go buy a bag just for this and because this stuff here will be there now I, I didn't grout the uh seams either um there again wasn't worried about it uh in retrospect i don't know if i was doing it to sell it yes i would have would have grouted it um but like I said, this is just a solution to one of my irritations of moving my smoker. And like I said, if I got my smoker turned upside down, then then the grates out, the far uh, uh, buckets out, um, you know, and then the lids off, and I have to pick all that up. And move it. This here, I'm going to put some bolt on. It's going to ha have all that hung up on it, and I can just pick this thing up, move it a couple feet, mow move it back easy peasy lemon squeezy so here i am you, you want to make sure you get enough of this down doesn't take a whole lot i probably overdid it right here but that's just kind of the way i, I go sometimes because i could have just got the edges probably just put it on the edge of the tile and laid it down been there now since there was no grout though these were a little shy uh, of the edges and stuff and there again perfectly fine with it you want to you know get them close and make them look as good as you can and i could come back and caulk those seams but joints but i'm not going to do that either i'm not doesn't concern me that much to be honest with you like i said now if i was doing this to sell uh yeah i would uh i would definitely make it look a lot better but right now i'm just wanting something that i can get my smoker my little grill on i don't grill much it's that smoker that I use all the time. And uh, if I grill something, it's usually some country style ribs or burgers real quick, hot dogs, stuff like that. Okay, I'm trying to get everything lined up. The reason I put these other two on was to make sure the first two over on that far side were where I wanted them. And come back, add some more adhesive. 
and you want to you don't want to mess around in, in retrospect if i was going doing this to sell i would have run those those uh fence planks cut them longer uh three inches longer and had them cover the tops of those um two befores and i thought about doing that when i was there i thought nah i don't care so because that would have messed up my spacing on my my tile but as you see it's it uh, when i get to the bottom ones uh it did mess up my spacing. I said, no biggie. The, the main thing was something to set the smoker on. So I got these tall at Lowe's. I thought they were the 98 cent ones. Apparently they're the 229 ones, but oh well. I only got 12. So um, $24, $25 for the tall. Like I said, I would, if I did again, I'd make sure I'd find the dollar ones. Lowe's wasn't real helpful in me finding them. I looked at it on the website and I seen that they had 98 cent ones, 12 by 12s, and I thought these were the same color and, and I never could find them. Now I got this uh, this hull down. I'm going to get my specialized tile tool or holder downer. And then I'm going to do the bottom the same way I did the top. There he goes, 20 pounds. Got that out of the old house I was remodeling. And now I've got the bottom done. Did it the same way I did the top. Glued them down. And that's, we're getting ready to be done with this thing. And I see, um, like I said, I sh retrospect, I could have brought my, my uh, pickets out to the edge. Uh, I, I didn't need to tile the top. I could have went ahead and used that treated and just sealed it with something like a uh, spar varnish or something. Anyway. Okay, here for the legs, uh, drilling a half inch hole, use a 7 16 bit because I can't find my half inch. That's a seven inch wheel, half inch bolt, three and a half inches long. I was going to put double nuts on the back, uh, but I didn't have enough, um, um, long enough bolt. Um, what I do with these, come back and get a nylock locking nut and use them. Or if you're doing it, if you want to use two nuts instead of nylock locking nut, get a four inch bolt. Um, using flat washer between the wheel and the uh, leg. And I'm just going to put that regular nut on there. And here's the final uh, piece. Um, I think it turned out all right for uh, spur of the moment planning. Now back here, I could have added a, a two before right across the back. And I'd planned on putting a piece of half inch black iron pipe with flanges across the front for a handle. But then it dawned on me, if I did that, then I couldn't get the smoker off her. And sometimes I need to take it out there and clean it. So no, no half inch handle. Now I might do that at the back to hang stuff on. But here it is, get my little Weber under there. Um, and so I am happy with this. Uh, I'm, like I'm going to stain it and seal it um, later. Maybe cut some fancy looking curves on those.